All right, during the uh, filming of the um, Rachel Dana counter, there was a hours meter, a, a continuous hours meter in it. And that had a particular technology in it that's not reversible. Um, things go from, a lot of those are based off of mercury and, and uh, a, a column of mercury moving uh, doing my do it uh, due to migration and stuff. Anyway, um, I was at a estate sale um, and I saw a box of these. Uh, there was there was I don't know maybe half a dozen of them. So I picked up a couple, one to keep and one for a teardown. Um, and it is an hours meter. It goes between zero and uh, two thousand, uh, which is interesting and and. Uh, you can read off the hours here, and there's a little marker here that moves. And you can kind of look in the window and see that it's on a, uh, it's on a thread, and so this is going to move move across, kind of like a, on a lathe. Um, and so I thought, well, it must be motors and stuff inside, so it might be pretty cool. But then I went, oh no, it's got lots of wires. It says 115 volts AC, 60 cycle. Uh, cool date on it, April uh, 1966. Uh, so pretty vintage. Um, so anyway, this is the one that uh, that I'm going to keep. And why why so many wires? Well, I opened one up, so let's let's take a look at it. Uh, let me pull out the remains from the box here. Uh, first, there's this really heavy duty metal box that it that it's in. Now, the way that the wires can come in and out is through this hole here, and you can see that trying to get wires from this side through that little it's just a nightmare. So. The manufacturing process of these is pretty bad to begin with, um, but uh, and then on the front there's a little um, uh, plate that has the the markings, and then a little uh, plastic window underneath that, and then a, and a, a spacer to to hold it all together. So that's that kind of all just kind of smushes on top here. And then there's four screws that four screws that hold it in place. So. Um, but let's take a look at the actual mechanism itself, which I think is fascinating. Um, so, yeah, why so many wires? I, mean, these, I don't want to make sure these gears don't fall apart. Well, there's a relay in here. So there's a, a single-pull, double-throw relay. So you can use this thing to automatically turn off after 2,000 hours. <laughs> or turn something on after 2,000 hours. I, I I don't know what you would do, but let's say that you had a piece of equipment and you said, you know, I only guarantee it for 2,000 hours and then it needs to be maintenance. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's, uh, maybe it's tritium in a nuclear bomb and, <laughs> you know, it's really, really important that you, that you change it out, otherwise it won't work. Um, then, yeah, I don't know. Anyway, it's got, it's got a relay in it or to make sure you, you know, it's inoperable after 2,000 hours. I, I, I don't know. Anyway. Uh, what's really, really cool is this little black mark here is not original. I put that on there so we can watch the wheel go round and round and round. So the two black wires run the motor and they run here through a uh, 5.6K resistor. Um, and so we can hook them up here. Here's, here's 120 volts. Don't you have 120 volts just laying on your bench? Uh, let's see here, we'll hook it up here. Ah, close enough. And hook it up here. And let me let me turn on the safety switch. <laughs> safety first, safety third. Um all right. And let me turn it on. There it goes. Now you can see it's not it's got not going around smoothly it's kind of going in it's kind of going in jerks. There's an actual Geneva escape mechanism in this thing. So if people aren't familiar with those, let me, let me draw a picture of it. Uh, you might see it in a clockwork. But there's um uh Oh, I think I just shorted out it. I think I just shorted it out. Whoops. Oops. <laughs> All right, <laughs> so I'm an idiot. Uh, I moved this thing back and this uh, metal piece shorted out my 120 volts. Now, luckily, you know, I do things 
kind of haphazardly here on the bench, but I do pay attention to, to safety. So first of all, I have a box here that has a switch on it and it has a fuse in it. So I'm fused here. And then I have an isolation transformer and that goes into a Variac and the Variac is fused and the Variac blew, it, blew its fuse, okay? So um, there was a tiny little spark and then the fuse blew and everything's fine. So no harm, no foul. <laughs> All right, so I guess since we have a blown fuse, you see it there? <laughs> since we have a blown fuse, everything's quite safe now, so we can, <laughs> we can make my drawing. All right, this is not a great drawing. I would look it up on Wikipedia or something. But basically, you have a um, part of, so this is, this is the, the gear. There's like another piece over here, right? This is the, the gear that uh, has the funny teeth on it. And there's a pin that comes around, and the pin goes in the in here, and then it moves it over to the side, and then it releases itself. But when it's when it's on its so when it comes around here, it's pushing this thing around. But when it's going around this way, okay, on that side of it, this D-shaped thing is now here, and it holds it in place. So while it's over here, it's disengaged, but it, it's locked because of this D mechanism. And then when it comes back in, it, it, it's now free to move, and then this thing moves it across, and then this thing will take over again. So anyway, I probably haven't drawn it correctly, but you, you get the idea that this thing does two things. One, it has a pin that moves it, and then when the pin is disengaged, this little half moon thing here engages and that holds it still. So it's a funny little gear and it's definitely not necessary for this thing. So I don't know why it's in there. All right, turn it back on. There we go. Safety third. Um, so yeah, uh, it's probably really, really, really hard to see, but there is a, there's a little offset pin in there and does this Geneva thing. And it goes zip, 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 zip. And then there's this big gear train. Okay. So let's go ahead and turn it off. And I'll disconnect it. And we will start taking this thing apart. So uh, this wheel then drives this wheel. All right. So let's put them in order. This is the third. That's this one, and then this one, and then that one, and then this one. There we go. So that's the gear, the gear train, which you cannot see because I put it down too low. All right, let me move the camera down a bit. Okay. So yeah, there we go. So uh, this goes from big to little and then it drives it drives this gear this gear yeah you can see that <laughs> there's a lot of gears in here I'm not going to count all the teeth and everything but there there's a quite a big reduction and then this is a worm gear all right and that worm gear interacts with a little a little spur gear here and you can see then the little the little dial would move but it is going to take 2,000 hours to go from there to there. <laughs> it's going to take a long time. Uh, nothing's lubricated. Everything's dry. Probably something like this is you probably don't want to lubricate it because it probably it will gum up before it gets better. <laughs> um, so that's kind of fun. Anyway, I thought it was interesting. I thought it was fun to play with. Um, I don't know what I'm going to use this thing for. Maybe I can gear it differently, but 2,000 hours. And then there is a, uh, this little plastic piece that's the follower on the, on the actual um, indicator comes along and then presses, uh, presses on this switch and it will flip it. And let me, let me get a little screwed over here because I think it has an over center s flip too. So it'll push on it, push on it, and push on it. And then it, see, it went over center. So this little U-shaped spring here, it doesn't like slowly come into contact because you get this arc, 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 and then it would finally... So this is an over center. So you have to go over center, then it pops the relay over. Click. So 
we could wait 2,000 hours and watch that. Maybe we should like get it almost ready. That's what we should do. <laughs> and then I'll let it run. Uh oh, now it's now it's really loading it down. Oh, there it goes. That flipped. All right, so that's. Oh, that's fun. Oh well. Now, can we get it back together? I don't know. I think this goes here. And then this goes. Uh, let's see. This goes here. This goes here. There's a spacer here. Um. Okay, then this goes here like this. All right, but this one has to go in first. So we'll put that one in. It's like watchmaking. That one goes in, then this one goes in. And then this one goes in like that. There you go, like that. And then this one would have to go in upside down, like that. All right, then we've got this one here, which must go in like this. Yep. All right, then we got this one, which goes in first. And then this one, and then this one, here we go, and this one has to go in upside down, like a so, uh oh, It's not working right. This one has to go. Uh-oh. Oh, I'm getting them wrong. That one goes over there. This one goes here. Yeah, like that. And then this one. Uh-oh. <laughs> I really messed this up, didn't I? That one definitely goes over there. This one definitely goes over here. I guess I can play back the video. Nope, that's not right. All right, these guys go over here like this. That one definitely goes in like that. Definite, definite. And then these guys, this one has to go in like this. There you go. Now these guys all turn. And then this guy has to go in underneath. Okay, he engages the underside of that one. All right, now I got it. He goes there. This guy goes here. And this guy goes down here. All right. Guys must go in between. No. Hmm. Okay, this one has to go here. And this one has to go upside down so he mates with this guy. And then this guy has to go. Oh, there we go. Yep. And this guy goes here. Oh, okay. Got it all back together. Let's see if we can make it run. And 
and this guy has to be this guy has to be underneath. Oh, I got this guy upside down. He goes here. Uh oh. This guy has to be underneath him. Ah, he goes in like this. Okay. He has to go first, and then this one, and then this one, and then this one drops it on top. Ta-da! And you thought I was stupid. <laughs> uh, there we go.